It is unfucking real the enemy's ability to knock you into fucking pits. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sunday show where I show you three new games on Steam that you've never heard of. Sometimes they've come out already, sometimes they're older games, sometimes they're just uh, releasing that day. Today I have two platformers and one kind of open-ended building, crafting, survival game it seems like. I don't really know much about any of them, but we'll discover it together. For all my new viewers, this is a regular thing every Sunday. For all my old viewers, welcome back. Let's get started. Okay, so first up we have a game called Foregon. This game comes out in about... Kidding. Two days on the Epic Store. I believe they're also getting a Steam release not long after. It's a platformer, it seems to be. I don't really know much about it. As usual, we're just gonna play. We're just gonna play and hope that we get somewhere and hopefully that it's fun. I'm probably gonna use a controller. I got my trusty Logitech. Logitech, if you'd like to offer me a sponsorship, please do. Uh, I use all of your products like mice and controllers. So there's two, there's two there. All right, so let's review the controls. We have a gun that seems to have limited ammo. And an inability to reload said gun. Shouldn't have done that. And we have a sword and a double jump. I Let's begin. This forest was full of life. Me too. It was great. We used now to have picnics under the trees. Like right. Jump. Melee attack. Got it. So far, so good. Jump and melee attack. Can I jump through that? Yes. Can we climb? Yes. Ranged attack. Uh, hilarious. I would love to have some more ammo if you could give me... Uh, slightly more ammo. I spent it, you see, when I was busy shooting at, um, nothing. Okay, so this dude has, like, a shiny green thing. What are you gonna do with that? Okay, it's just like a cattle prod. We can deal with that. Dealt with. And it seems like we're picking up more ammo. So we're gonna take this dude out from a distance. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, hold on. Let's go down here for a second. Double jump. Right, double jump. Ugh. Probably should have thought about just hopping up there. Dodge incoming enemy attacks. Right, we have a slide. We can do a slide. Right, that's a good tip, game. Good tip. Honestly, so far, I like the controls. This is a secret, if I've ever seen one. I knew it the second I locked eyes on it. I knew. I don't think you can jump off of walls. But you can just, uh... Can I just... Yeah, you can kind of cheese a little bit. Okay, so we there's a little bit of cheese. There's a little bit of cheese that you can do, or is it smart playing? Change equipment in the inventory menu. What button is the... In there we go. Uh, okay, so we have different weapons. So this is power 10. Oh wait, no, it's more DPS. Right, yeah, okay, so now we have a bigger sword. Yeah, okay, I thought we were, I was looking at the wrong thing. I thought it is, it's fine. It doesn't matter what I thought, uh, because as you guys are well aware, I am not a smart man, and so you should expect that I'm going to, it is a little bit slower, but it's higher DPS. I I'd be going back to the temple. Yeah, I mean, we never thought that because we don't think ahead because we're an idiot. This place is creeps. Try that shit again, I dare you. Come at me with some of that spinny shit. Whoa. Okay, it was very effective. This weapon is very slow. That is, you know, I probably brought that on myself, honestly. So there's a way to go up there. Okay. Now All right, boss worse. fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat you lead? Be out here, Warden. Silence, Robert. It was you who brought this devastation. I disagree. Eat lead. You, want from me? you must correct your past. Stop the herald. Right, Stop eat lead. Can I please just do the part where he eats lead? Oh no. Oh, I'm too bad. Eat lead! Oh, I didn't have to make him eat lead. He just turned into a weird octopus Cthulhu monster. Alright, eat lead! And destroy the herald you That was kind of unfair. He just unleashed some Dragon Ball Z shit on me. I didn't even have a chance to react. So you just kind of hit him once and then slide through and it seems to work pretty okay. A lot of dudes. A lot of enemies in this upcoming area. Here we go, here we go. All right, Buzzbot. All right, he has saw blades, not even, oh, what do I do about that? We slide through. Ooh! Oh, 
Oh god, this guy. Okay, slide through. He's gonna do that. Shoot him in the back. Slide through. Don't slide through, just get maimed. Fuck me. You gotta stay on him. You gotta stay on top of him. Fuck me! You gotta stay close, you gotta stay close. Got him! Oh, that was so close! Barely. Barely. He gave us upgraded armor? That's great. We also got a regular pistol and some boring weapons. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. That was fun. All right, so that was Foregone. You can pick that up on the Epic Store in about three days, I believe, on October the 13th. In about two days on October the 13th. Um, I'm not sure of the price, but obviously this is going to be a lot of fun for people who are really into the platformers, that kind of roguelite. You're not, not sure what equipment you're going to get. It's obviously going to change as you play, depending on what kind of equipment you get, right? Um, you know, if you get an epic spear and all you have is a regular ass sword, you're going to use the spear more than likely. But obviously, you know, you can tailor your choices and use whatever you want. Very cool. I dig it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Next game. All right, next up, we have a game called Primal Light. This came out July 9th of this year. Currently $15 and has about 16 or so user reviews. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to begin. This appears to be another platformer kind of a game. It just looked... I, I've played action platformers. I want a challenge. I don't want a challenge in life. At this age, I don't want a challenge in anything. I'm going to hold the skip because, again, we're not here about story. We're here about gameplay. You guys can figure out if the story is worth your time on your own time. Excuse me. I hit him. He did not hit me. Okay, so if you consume those little green gems. Yeah, we have a roll. So from looking at, can I touch enemies? No. Okay. So it's one of those games where you can't even touch enemies. Um, this reminds me a lot of like a Castlevania kind of a game. It's just simple. You know what's kind of happening. You have, oh, bonfires. Okay, checkpoints, cool. It's like the, the classic formula, action platformer. I'm sure we're about to find a turkey in a wall somewhere. And that would basically sum up uh, Castlevania. Hold B on a ladder to slide down. Oh, we got an extra, okay. Don't do that again. All right, okay, okay. So we just need to be on our toes. Do you think there's something down this pit that's not just death? Could be. They may have hidden something down there. I'm gonna find, they didn't hide anything down there. Birds are kind of annoying because they're not giving me anything. I timed that so poorly. I, well, uh, to be fair though, I had only seen it happening for like, you know, a second. So it was brand new to me, but I'm certain in the comments, you guys are gonna be like, it was so easy. Got, got both of them, same time. That's the level of skill that you have come to, come to know and expect from this channel on a regular basis. We're gonna not fuck this up this time. There we go. We'll just move right through. The birds don't give us anything, so there's no point and us trying to deal with that. Use a green thing. I don't know where we're getting those. Right, I gotta remember that we have a dodge roll. I... You dodge roll so far! Okay, you know what? I take back everything I said about the dodge roll. Don't use it. You, do you end up dodge rolling so far. And you also, by the way, don't have iframes. You know what, let's just start that one over. Let's just start that one over. Don't use dodge roll. Not good. Is that an enemy? Hi. No, I don't want an extra life. Why would I want that? I don't need extra lives. I don't need a crutch. I thought for sure that was a secret wall. Oh, that's a weird looking dinosaur. Okay. I'm just gonna slice you. I'm gonna get in close. Okay, the strategy, the strategy is to sit right underneath them. Strategy is to sit right underneath that guy and just hit, hit him with the up attack.
Use the health. Slide away. Get under him. Come on, how many hits do you have? Okay, we're gonna need to play this slightly safer. One day I'll dodge that, I promise you. It's just not gonna be today. I died again. I can't, I can't tell how many hits these guys are. You did not just start me off at the beginning of this game. Uh, okay, listen. I'm not actually gonna play through this again because that is crazy. <laughs> Fuck me, those things knock me into the pit so often. It is unfucking real the enemy's ability to knock you into fucking pits. You literally have no control. Like, once you get hit, the knockback is so far. We gotta move. We gotta heal twice. Jump through. Gets us for about a million damage. I wish that you had iframes on your dodge. I really wish that you had iframes on your dodge. Oh, fuck me. Cool. Just walk right into it, Sonicette. That's great. Actually looked like I somehow managed to avoid taking damage on that hit. There we go. Did it, easy, stage one, done. You just gotta play carefully. And I'm not a careful or a cautious player or even a slow player. That's great, dab on, yeah, dab on him. Heisman and whatever, let's keep going. Stage cleared. Oh boy, stage two. We're not gonna play stage two because you understand what kind of game this is, but we did make it to stage two and I did want to finish that boss fight just because I wasn't gonna be able to leave that without clearing at least one of them, so. What to say about Primal Light? If you like Castlevania, those really old school games, I think you'd probably have a good time because that's really what this is for literally everyone else. Probably not for $15. There's a lot of games you could get for $15. I'm pretty sure even Terraria and Stardew Valley are like five. So, so the level of content that you get for what you're paying here doesn't feel like it's tremendous. But if, you, if you're looking for a super hardcore platformer and that's like your jam, perfect, pick it up. Last game. All right, so last up, we have a game called Craftlands Workshop, the funny indie capitalist RPG trading adventure game, which is a mouthful. This game comes out in a couple of days. It's not quite out yet, so I couldn't even tell you the price, but you can download a free demo if you wanted to get started on that. They say very clearly here, it's early access, so I hope you're ready for that. We're gonna go super duper naked with a bald spot on top. Give me a beard, give me a giant ass beard. Oh, no, that's even better. Yep, that's our character. And we can move around. So what is... Read the letter. Uh, the workshop has been left abandoned for an extended period of time. Because of all this, the building has incurred additional tax, which has gone unpaid. We've taken a decision to revoke all permits, which were in place for this building as payment for this. If you wish to regain these payments, please visit Town Hall to repurchase them. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, so they're just telling us the beginning of the game. So we're gonna go to town. We're gonna bar we're gonna barge in to town hall, um, pretty much naked, and we're gonna demand that they give us back uh, that they give us back our our shop. Where the fuck is the town hall? I don't think I can move my camera either. I believe this is the town hall. Blah blah. Yeah, it's town hall. Blah 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. I suppose you're here to reopen it. Yeah, you guys shut down my business. I'm here to reopen it. What do I need to, what do I owe you? What do I need to do? Here's the shop. Oh, that was cheap. Uh, choose one of the beginning apprenticeships. Okay. I'll go with alchemy. That sounds fun. Become an alchemist. I always like doing alchemy in MMOs. So we need to clean our workshop and then confirm workshop cleaned and management book. So that's going to cost 35 triangles. I only have three triangles right now, but I do have a sweet wizard hat. I don't know if you guys are, are seeing this, but my wizard hat's pretty great. That shop looks like you can probably buy in the future. We're gonna head, can I run? Can I sprint? No, it doesn't look like it. 
All right, so we're taking our bare-chested alchemist mage back to our uh, house, which we now have a permit for. We do have a day and night cycle, seems like. I guess we gotta get cleaning. This place is a mess. Why would, weren't you just working here? Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, this is gonna take a second. The notice on the door said that we had been an apprentice and that we had been, we had been working here this whole time. But all I see is a broken down building suspended in ethereal space that has no walls. There was a lot more here than meets the eye, obviously. So I cleaned it. Put it up, put it up. Alchemy license revived. Perfect. If you advertise consumables, some will sit down to consume the item. They'll leave the container behind. Goods uh, placed here will be purchased by a customer once his request been completed. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So this is using energy, which is that blue bar on the top. I believe the yellow bar is our EXP. So we, bloody fox whiskers, who's banging? Who are you and why did you just walk into my shop uninvited, just all by yourself? Are you blind? He is actually blind, I think. He looks like the guy from Hellraiser. Okay, I need to get resources. He says to be able to build and run a shop. There's still a counter there, dude. That's the same counter you ran into the first time. Don't run into the wall on your way out. Just, I guess that was the boogeyman. Visit spread your seed. I thought this was a friendly, family friendly game. That does not sound like family friendly activities if we're being honest with each other. Oh, another one who likes to spread their seeds. Yeah, you gotta stop saying that. Hi. Wanna browse your wares? What am, what am I supposed to get? Purchase green herbs. Oh, well that was easy. I had enough for that. I should not buy anything else. Because if I do, I will be crazy broke. I don't know where blue gems came from. That was worth a lot of money. We're gonna figure out how to craft. Let's go do a craft. We'll figure this out, then we'll put it on display and try and sell it. I believe we probably want to use the cauldron. That would only make sense. Vial of health requires one green herb, six seconds. So let's do that. And then I guess you have to hold right click because you have to stir it to make it. And so this is taking energy. And then I filled five vials of health potion. That's kind of neat. This dude is just walking into our shop, also shirtless. Probably my brother. All right, so now we have items. Where are they? Can I see them on display? Are they here? We're gonna try and sell goods, I guess. Customers arriving at 8 a.m. We're open, open for business. We got health potions. No, you're not. You're not feeling tired at all. You have 74 energy. That's most most of your energy. There we go. I know you want a health potion. Just go ahead and step right up. I'll give that to you instantly. Look at that. Boom. Happy customer. Happy customer. And boom. Happy customer. That was two. You guys can buy more than one if you wanted to. Let's speed this up. You just buy the rest of my stock. We leveled up. We got to level two. I don't know what that does, but we did it. That Yeah, you can have that one. This guy's a weird green goblin man. Weird green goblin man, still need potions too. This guy isn't wearing a shirt, I like it. Have two. One on the house. You, boom. I don't, I'm not even advertising that. That was not, turn away, go, out. I am not selling that. You can't just come in here and demand whatever you want. Customer sales completed. We're actually out of stock. No, no, we're, we're closed. Go home. All right. Ugh, oh, customers are demanding. So we need to sell five more and then we will master this, I believe. So there's obviously all kinds of stuff you can do here. We spent a lot, we did not exactly earn a ton. Yeah, we only earned 127, one triangle, 27 circles. But we spent a lot. Okay, so each, like when you have a furnace license, I think we'll be able to press right and go to the furnace. 
and then it will have its own list of stuff. Um, I'm assuming that you're gonna be able to clean up, expand, buy more property, you know, get more goods. There's obviously a door here that probably goes somewhere. Oh, we can purchase a worker's basement. So yeah, so that's what, when we master recipe, we can teach it to someone else. And so we could hire this guy if we had enough money um, to be able to, and we don't have a worker's permit. So we would need to level up in the game, obviously, to get access to that stuff. Honestly, this is a neat game. You know, if you're into the crafting and building and running your own shop, which again, I'm a fan of, you're obviously gonna be able to expand your tan uh, across and your shop, buy stuff, craft stuff. Okay. I think this is great. All, the only thing I don't know is how much it's gonna cost because it comes out in two days. This is not out yet, but honestly, a solid looking game. If you're into this, if you're into this kind of genre, right? It's casual, it's fun, it's easy. And you get to just, you know, do your own thing, specialize in your own business. I like it, I dig it. You should definitely be keeping an eye on this. Let's wrap up. That was a bad clap, but that was also, there we go. All right, so there you have it. There's your three games on Steam for this Sunday, October the uh, 11th. Hopefully one of those you enjoyed. If you do, go like it, wishlist it, buy it. That helps the developers, obviously. These are all small indie games. So again, they, you know, most of them have less than a hundred reviews. So again, if, if one of these looks good, go out and grab it. Um, as always, I have to thank my Patreons who are listed here. There's a lot of new faces, a lot of new names. If you want to get in on that, join the Discord, get involved. There are links below. There always are, always will be. We got a lot of new people in the Discord. There's a lot of people talking games now all the time. A lot of phasmophobia matches going on. If you want to be a part of that community, you absolutely can. The links are below. So that's it. We just, I just play games. You just enjoy them. And then you move on with your Sunday. So hopefully you guys are still enjoying this. As always, let me know what you think, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And until next time, Burn bright, everybody.